Hello, Gold here, and today we're going to continue the rare item series. And the next item that we're looking for in this particular video is the clean coffee tin. The coffee tin itself is not found everywhere like a lot of the other junk and scrap that we see, but the clean coffee tin is only found in a very limited amount of locations throughout the wasteland. We're going to look at four of these locations, so let's get started. First location is safe and clean disposal. When you come to safe and clean disposal, this is a really stands out, but be be aware that there will be some floaters here. You'll have to take them out before you can get down here and uh, get to this coffee tin. But when you do take them out, you can get down here and you'll see it's right on top, right on top of this box. Now there's also about 10 to 15 lead that you can uh, loot while you're here, but uh, you'll have to search for the cans in the building there. But there's the clean coffee tin. It's coffee tin number one. The next one is probably more popular. I think more people know about this one. It's the Beckwith Farm. It's pretty easy to find. When you pour it in here, you're going to want to look for the flagpole. When you see the flagpole, then just head straight towards it. Once you head straight towards the flagpole, you'll eventually make your way to it. And then just sort of roll around the building right here. And once you roll around this little shack, then there's going to be a little bit of other loot here. You know, that's worth checking out. There's a note if you haven't been in this area before, a recipe, I mean. Um, there's also some, uh, you know, a little bit of scrap. Not much, some steel, some things in this chest. In this case, I got me a forest treasure map. But some other things. It's worth looting a little bit while you're here to get the coffee tin. So some more cans and some boiled water. Good to go. And now, got a few more cans and more boiled water. Cans give us lead, which gives us bullets. And we see the clean coffee tin. It's coffee tin number two. So I'm going to scrap all this stuff, grab it all up while I'm here. Might as well. And not going to bother with that. Yeah, let's grab that. And I'm going to blow this truck up. And there we go. Two down, two to go. The next one's in a very common location, or what I mean, somewhere that we visited quite a bit, and that's Vault Tech University. South of Vault Tech University, or southwest of Vault Tech University, on the road that you see right here, is, I guess, the local bank. And inside this bank is coffee tin number three. And it's pretty easy to find. We just have to know where it's at, and it's right here in the front. Face the bank, come straight in the front door, and we can already see it to our left right there, and there is clean coffee tin number three and now let's go get number four number four will be located in Ingram Mansion and Ingram Mansion is one of the hideouts for the Mothman cultist so you'll have some of them to deal with as you come in here be careful try to lure them out so you don't destroy the inside with the bullets and all because it makes this coffee can very hard to find so you just come straight in here and it's right on top of the fridge. Clean coffee tin number four. Now there's also Mothman eggs and a lot of other loot here that you can get to. Some paint cans around back. But here it is. Here it is on display. Uh, just a cool little collectible, cool little item to keep on display. Everything else is dirty and halfway destroyed in this wasteland. So having something that's clean and new is uh, pretty nice to have in our base. These are not becoming as rare as they once used to be. You're starting to see more and more people have them. That's a good thing. Maybe that'll make Bethesda introduce some more rare items, some things that are a little more difficult to find, and see what we can do with them. I uh, hope the video helps out. Thanks a lot for watching. And for now, go out.